Hi everyone. Uh, good afternoon. Welcome to BWA Live. Uh, this is Ask a Trainer Tuesdays. Um, my name is Mike, uh, Sport Coordinator from Athletics and Recreation at Seneca College. And I'm going to be joined uh, by my uh, colleague uh, Chris Souza from King Campus, our Fitness Coordinator. Uh, momentarily, I'm going to buzz him in. Hope everyone's having a good day. Chris should be joining in right now. We'll do a little discussion on uh, sleep and recovery. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, sharing ideas on uh, not so much ideas <laughs> because it's uh, pretty much a fact at this point. Sleep is important um, and how that's uh, incorporated into your regular routine and setting aside your priorities for proper rest and recovery. So uh, hi, Chris. How's it going? Good, Mike. How are you? Not too bad. Just... Uh, got on here in time so <laughs> we're good to go um but yeah i just kind of uh started our conversation here we're going to talk a little bit about um obviously sleep and recovery and and um as much common sense as it might be to most of you and uh how important sleep is but um uh usually the age group of around uh 17 to 25 the sleep is very inconsistent um, and you're either sleeping in until noon or you're up until 2 a.m. Um, so maybe not with as much of a social life right now, but just in general, I think we tend to binge our uh, sleep and then, oh, I'll just make up for it by sleeping in uh, this day. And um, so maybe how that might not be as um, healthy as a consistent sleeping schedule. Um, and then just rest and recovery for our mental health and physical right stuff like that. So um, I know you and I were just talking about sleep the other day. Maybe you had a bit of a rough night's sleep and um, how that really can throw your whole day off. So do you want to maybe talk about obviously the importance, but even just for yourself, um, kind of your routine? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think that the recommended uh, amount of sleep right now for adults um, is seven to nine hours, yeah. um, which it um, it sounds like a lot, but it's, it's really not. Um, but it is it is a hard target to hit, um, especially if you have a lot going on in your life. Um, it's not always easy to get yourself to bed um, when you're supposed to. Right? Um, but there there's a lot of um, the next day. I mean, <clears throat> we were talking about this uh, today actually. That um, it just kind of throws off your whole schedule, right? Like if you're not getting enough sleep the night before, you might be trying to make up for it by sleeping in, which is going to push things along in your day. So the typical things you might be able to get done that are getting you through your day, um, you might not get done. So um, maybe you get up, you wake up um, a bit later so you don't have the time to make a nutritious breakfast. So you're skipping breakfast, you're grabbing something that's really not the best to eat on the way to work or on the way to school. Maybe you skip your workout, so that's making you feel um, thrown off a bit too. Uh, it's almost like a domino effect, right? Um, so not only are you not getting the benefits of that, that full REM sleep, but you're also um, putting yourself almost at a disadvantage the next day as far as all the, the rest of your healthy habits. Um, and it's actually been proven that sleeping in isn't going to help much. Um, it, it actually takes longer for your body to recover than just sleeping in the, the, the day after, right? It, it, it actually takes about a week for you to adjust. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of studies that, that go along with weight gain um, for, for people that are sleeping in. Um, and it, that's not, you don't magically just gain weight, but what happens yeah. is things like, like you miss a meal. So you're picking up fast food on the way your yeah. body craves certain nutrients. Um, you're going to be craving a lot of, um, I guess, higher calorie food, right? Like the quick foods and, um, your body's going through a lot of stress. So it's a lot of, uh, carbs that you're, you're craving and you're most likely not making the best decisions. Right. Um, yeah. so yeah, yeah, there's, there's kind of, it's, it's, there's a lot of stuff that could happen once you start missing sleep, right? Yeah, for sure. No, those are good points because it's not just the sleep itself. It's the other factors that are affected by mm -hmm. your new sleeping pattern or the inconsistency. Um, right. So for those of you that have kind of followed our wellness posts and if you're maybe informed on the 24-hour movement guidelines um, that CSEP has, so basically it's, you know, 150 minutes a week um, and then it also incorporates um, some other ways to avoid being sedentary and how to basically stay and live a healthy physical activity-led life to avoid heart disease and other complications that are um, preventable. Um, right. They've actually now included uh, sleep uh, in that 24-hour um, kind of guideline. Um, 
uh, even though it's technically called a 24 hour movement guideline, it's incorporated in there because it's so important where it's not just exercise that we automatically think of to be more healthy, uh, where it's always eat healthy and I need to exercise regularly. That's it. Well, no, hold on because sleep is up there with those other two pillars. Um, so yeah. incorporate yeah. that now so that, you're, you have that third check where, okay, my, my diet is, reg, is consistent and I've got all the fruit and vegetable servings and you're following the Canadian food guideline. You're getting your 150 minutes of activity a week. You're getting a balanced exercise program. And then the third one is your, is your sleep. So you could have the best diet and work out, you know, right. is a week. But if your sleep is just all over the place, um, that could be a huge contributing factor for sure. Uh, absolutely. I, I would probably, if I had... If I had an, an hour at the end of the day and I had to decide whether I was going to bed early or if I was working out, I would definitely, uh, I would definitely, tr I would definitely go to bed an hour earlier. Um, it's it's that important, and I think we're only now kind of seeing the long term effects of, of lack of sleep and yeah. um, kind of there's there's always been kind of this light shine on it, but as a society, I think we're so so busy to. Um, we're so we're always busying ourselves. We're not giving ourselves that chance at the end of the day. We're just kind of pushing the limit, right? And especially with technology, yeah. we'll lay in our bed and we'll we'll go through our Instagram feeds. And um, I think it's it's important now to have those 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 healthy uh, boundaries and yeah. try to get to bed, get to bed instead of kind of grinding that that midnight oil. It's like almost like a badge of honor, right? I went to bed at two o'clock last night. I was working on a project right. where right it's 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 i don't think that's cool <laughs> it's you know what i mean it's like as a society we've been, we've been told that that's 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 uh like it's like that's the cool thing is to kind of push the boundaries and grind hard at work and i think you need to take a step back and we need more rest than we than we're giving ourselves in it yeah sure. for some reason we like to always like uh Com compete with our with our uh, struggles like no i have it worse or i had it worse <laughs> which is yeah um, yeah yeah and it's easy to get into that it's an easy oh, tra trap to get into right for sure so yeah definitely quality over quantity and uh yeah like you had said so seven to nine hours is the recommended um for adults between age 60 or 18 and 64 um so now tying that into the 24-hour movement guidelines, how they now incorporated sleep is just as important as exercise and diet. Um, there's a quick little uh, uh, self-assessment you guys can do that they've included. Oh, nice. I'm going to give you a couple examples. And as you guys are watching, maybe kind of go along with them to see, um, you know, if, where you're at. And I'll let you know whether that's good or bad. <laughs> um, yeah, that's awesome. I like this. I like this. The uh, question is, um, well, it's nice and easy. And you're doing this as a self-assessment. So it's what time do you go to bed every night and wake up every morning? So when you do the Monday to Friday and you kind of visualize, oh, yesterday it was it was five, but then today it was seven. And then tomorrow I'm probably going to get up around 8.15. So you can already see that it's inconsistent. Um, so obviously the seven to nine hours is crucial, but that's consistent. Not just like on Monday, I got seven hours, but on Wednesday, I got 11. Um, so you might right. think, oh, I got tons of sleep. Um, so if you look at the numbers, sure, on paper, you got tons of sleep, but was it good sleep? Was it consistent? Um, so what they're calling this is basically healthy sleep hygiene. So they're, it's basically a way to measure how healthy your sleeping patterns are and how consistent they are. So that first question is, what time do you go to bed every night and wake up every morning? So try to track that in your head, write that down, journal it. Um, and if it's all over the place, um, then you kind of want to try to make it more consistent. So basically the desired um, goal is for it to be consistent, even on weekends. Now that one's going to hurt a lot of our uh, <laughs> students. You know what? It's uh, yeah. it's, that's true. That's a hard one to get into, but it, it pays off. Like it pays off huge. Um, I've been, I've been, I've been doing that a lot. Like I, I, I just get up consistent at the same time. Sometimes my sleep time is later, but I still try to get up at that, that time. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's hard. It's definitely hard to do. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so our next question is, um, do you feel refreshed upon waking in the morning? So do you feel worse or better? Uh, you had a long day, um, uh, you know, lots of energy draining um, things that you did mentally, physically. Um, or do you feel like sluggish and that you need another hour or 
overslept. So obviously the desire, yes, you feel refreshed. Um, that, that's, so some days you might not, and then you'll have to try it was. You throw off your or like, well, right? So that, that's the next one. And then the third one I'll throw in here is um, how many times did you wake up last night, the night before, or each night did you wake up? Middle of the night, uh, be one or none. Uh, more than then you're you're not quite getting that happy REM sleep. You're not in that deep sleep that you should be getting. And that's the third factor you're doing your self assessment. So you've got, you know, what time bed and up, make sure it's consistent. You're getting seven to nine hours. And do you feel refreshed upon waking up in the morning? Um, and do you wake up in the middle of the night? Those are the questions. Um, so I think you're uh, good for all. <laughs> oh yeah, like they're, they're, it, it's it's going to be hard to nail all those, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, definitely. You, you've I find though when I when I am consistent, I do feel like I'm a bit more refreshed in the morning. Or well, I wake up before my alarm a lot, but it, it takes that takes a lot of a lot of consistent sleeping, right? And waking, resting, and waking at the same time. So of course. It's, yeah, it's as hard as training. Like it's it's as hard as training, but it has the same amount of benefits, right? For your body, for your mind. Absolutely. Um, to put as much commitment into it. Yeah, perfect. No, I mean obviously everyone's different, and uh, uh, like myself and with you having kids, like you know how it can be with with that, or if you have a, a job that required you to work late, and um, everyone has their own situation, and uh, that's why it's better to be. Doesn't mean you have to go to bed at eleven. Up at time it just has to be consistent um, and if you do that then you will prevent these other things from happening um so so anyway so pretty much uh, uh what uh, i was attributing to that and making sure that everyone knows um that you're your place there with your diet and your exercise and making sure it's um, um something you're not overlooking so uh, is there anything else uh, any tip like uh, you think might help anyone yeah, I know a big like a big term these days is sleep hygiene. Um, basically, that's just a fancy way of like making sure that you're creating an environment for for good sleep, for restful sleep, right? Right. So right. I know for me, I try to. I'm not the best at this, but I try to put my tech away for. You know, it, it, you're supposed to put it away for a, an hour before you go to bed. Me, I'm like ten minutes maybe. <laughs> um, what works for me is a book, reading a book. Yeah. But also, you want to make sure your room's pretty cool, certain temperature. Um, you want to make sure it's not too uh, not 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 too warm in your room. It should be temperature should be pretty low. Um, you don't want to have any light, so your cell, you know, even your charger on your cell phone. Yeah. If you have a TV in your room, you want to like put a piece of tape over your the power uh, light. Um, try to block out as much light as you can because that's going to have an effect on how deep of sleep you're getting and then obviously noise, right? I'm a really light sleeper, so I have a, a noise machine that I just put on because everything wakes me up. Um, but you want to kind of create that environment. Make sure your room's, you know, clean so you're not laying in bed stressing about all the paperwork you have on your bedside table. Yep. Or if you're work, if you're studying right now from your, from your bedroom, make sure that, you, you know, at the end of the day you clean up your, your desk a little bit. But just creating that well, that that environment for sleep, um, yeah. Because you do have to kind of make sure you're in the right mindset. And um, something that helps as well for me is to to kind of meditate a little bit. And it doesn't have to be like a set meditation or a, a practice. It's something that works for you. If if that's breathing, if that's yoga, if that's just sitting still before you you go to sleep, that's fine too. But something something you're doing to clear your mind and set the tone um, for the rest of the night, right? Yes, that's the point. It's really hard to just like go from watching TV to going to bed or yeah. um, being on social media to going to bed. Sometimes you have, it takes work to get into that sleep state. So that's that's kind of one tip I'd, I'd send out there for sure. Yeah, and, and I'll finish on that um, because that's perfect uh, right there. Like that is the formula, obviously, to contribute to a better quality sleep. Uh, and is the team that you're creating for yourself. So if you find that you're you're distracted and you have um you know different things that are around you that are that are preventing you from a better quality sleep such as your your phone is right beside you. Um, like myself i have to plug my phone in across the room where i can't reach it from my bed so even 
bone off, I have to basically crawl and fully get it. Um, so just try to um, make it so that it's this environment that's associated with rest, relax, uh, and sleep, so that not you are working on right now. You're off crawl the room or um, they're in there because of our situation but in a in a perfect world you would avoid um uh, issues, I guess, to a not so good sleep so um so thanks for that because that's a really good point with that sleep hygiene is creating that environment and that will help so hopefully we haven't put you from this conversation <laughs> yeah. or maybe, maybe maybe that's a good thing maybe they need to catch up on yeah if you guys sleep. need a someone <laughs> Give us a call. No, anyway. So thanks again, Chris, for uh, for the tips, and I uh, hope everyone uh, from and, uh, can get a good night's sleep. Awesome. All right, Mike. Take care. See you guys. Have a great sleep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you too. Be well, guys. Yeah.